tornado warning in effect for this portion of northern Craven County, Beaufort County, and moving into southern portions of Washington County this morning until 1045 this morning. Spread the picture back out once again. It will zoom into the northern uh, reach, northernmost storm now as the storm is moving to the northeast. This overall line of storms moving to the east at a very, very fast pace this morning. Here again is where we do have one other area of concern a tornado warning in effect for Washington as well as Terrell counties moving toward the Albemarle Sound. This tornado warning in effect until 10 30. If you're watching us from the Plymouth area, Roper along Highway 64. I urge you also to be in your safe area as this severe thunderstorm, lots of lightning popping with this storm now from Plymouth to Roper, anywhere along Highway 64. Please be in your safe area right now, lowest level of your home, away from windows. Make sure that you can cover yourself. Hopefully, you've got something where you can cover your head and maybe a blanket to cover your body as this storm moves just to the east of Plymouth, right across Roper is what our latest signature is looking for right now. With our uh, storm lab radar, with this uh, storm system moving on through. So we are seeing this uh, very, very tightly wound right now as it's moving on through, seeing this rotation now near Roper as we're putting together um, our what's called our storm relative velocity. This particular storm system now racing to the northeast at 65 miles per hour. Want to again go back to the bigger picture, and I'm going to put this all into motion for you. You can see the severe line of thunder. Storms now essentially along the U.S. Highway 17 corridor as this uh, line of storms now is pushing to the east. We'll continue to be with you as long as we have this tornado warning in effect. We do have the tornado capable of producing uh, this storm now. It's about 11 miles to the northeast, now toward the Piney Green area, moving to the northeast at about 60 miles per hour. This severe thunderstorm, as we go back to Onslow County, uh, is located located uh, just a moment ago, about four minutes ago, was located near Belgrade, and it's moving to the northeast at about 60 miles per hour, and that's why southeastern Jones County, southern portions of Craven County, as I stop the motion and put it on the latest imagery for you, zooming down once again into this portion of Onslow County, southeastern portions of uh, Jones County as well as Southern Craven County. The system, this fast moving severe thunderstorm now is to the northeast of the Belgrade and the Piney Green area moving now into southeastern Jones County. This tornado warning in effect until 1015 for eastern Onslow County, southern portions of Jones County and also into southern Craven County. From Maysville to Havelock, I urge you also to get into your safe area away from windows and also lowest level of your home and cover yourself uh, with a blanket or a uh, a, even a mattress. Of course, you want to still be able, if you have uh, small children with you, make sure that they can still, of course, get very uh, fresh air. You don't want to, certainly do not want to be in a situation where uh, you have a risk of smothering one another with regard to being able to get fresh air. But you want to protect yourself to the best of your ability now if you're watching us from Swansboro northward into southeastern Maysville, uh, southeastern Jones County near Maysville. As our sweeping radar continues to show uh, this uh, this line of storms moving on through, uh, continuing to track and along with the National Weather Service, we're uh, keeping a, a very very close eye on the National Weather Service uh, radar. And I do appreciate uh, the uh, always the communication and the partnership that we do have on uh, this particular very volatile, severe weather day as we expected. It is indeed coming to reality now as this line of severe thunderstorms moving through the coastal counties of the nine on your side viewing area, essentially along the Highway 17 corridor uh, and then eastward, we have three warnings in effect right now. This one warning for uh, eastern Onslow County, southeastern portions of Jones County and southern Craven County in effect until 1015 officially. And then also we're moving to the north. We do have another storm in northern Craven County moving now into southern Beaufort County, keeping a very close eye on this one as well. The tornado warning for uh, this portion now basically moving across Beaufort County, we can zoom in 
and getting another update from the National Weather Service. Let me go check that as you are watching along with me here. This severe thunderstorm now is very, very close to um, the, say, the Rover area over toward Core Point, uh, the Blunts Creek area. I encourage you uh, to, and urge you to get into your safe area right now. If you're in the Stilly community over toward Core Point, this particular storm will be moving toward the northeast and is moving toward the northeast and will be moving across the Pamlico River. So if you're watching us on the north side of uh, the Pamlico River from River Road, uh, just east of there, uh, just to the west of Bath, Highway 92, U.S. Highway 264, that would include uh, communities like Odin Mill, uh, perhaps Yatesville, but it is possible that the storm will stay just to your west if you live in the Yatesville area. And we're also watching this uh, particular storm now moving on toward the Terracia era, area. This uh, tornado warning in effect for Beaufort County until 1045 this morning. So that's why we are with you on the air. And we're going to stay right here with you during this severe weather event for eastern North Carolina as we track this severe line of thunderstorms in the eastern counties now of the WNCT 9 on your side viewing area. If you live in the western counties, uh, let's say even from Highway 11, Greenville, Kenston points to the west. Uh, the severe weather threat is starting to wind down now for you. We're also getting just the very, very latest information just coming in uh, just a moment ago at 10.05. Uh, a tornado producing storm now, as I've just said, is now near Maysville. Uh, it's about uh, 12 miles southwest of James City. And we also have the uh, storm capable of producing a tornado in Washington County. Uh, this heaviest rotation, the tightest rotation near Scuppernong. Let's go there now, about 12 miles east of Plymouth. This is preparing to move over the Albemarle Sound as I'll take the motion off once again and zoom in uh, tighter on this particular storm now over the northeastern portions of Washington County, uh, moving into northern Tyrrell County. As you will note right in through here, this tornado warning in effect. Uh, the storm to uh, around the Scuppernong area. I'll take the lightning off again as we know how uh, lightning rich these storms are. So if you are watching us anywhere along Highway 64 uh, from Roper to Skinnersville to Cresswell uh, over toward Columbia, the Scuppernong area, this uh, tornado warning in effect until 1030 as the storm is preparing to move over the Albemarle Sound within the next, uh, say, 15 minutes or so, and then perhaps will be affected the northeastern counties, what we call the finger counties, up to the north of the Albemarle Sound. We're going to stay with you here, too, as this particular storm system moves through uh, this uh, eastern reaches of the nine on your side viewing area. So the tornado warnings in effect currently are in extreme eastern Onslow County, southeastern Jones County, uh, southern Craven County, uh, the extreme northwestern portions of Carteret County, say just to the north of Cape Carteret and moving across in along Highway 58 into Jones County up toward Maysville. Uh, the severe thunderstorm that did have a confirmed tornado earlier just a little while ago in Onslow County is now moving into southeastern portions of Jones County. Uh, the tornado in Beaufort County is very close uh, to Blunt's Creek right now. It's about 11 miles to the other side. Of, on the, it's on the southern side of the Pamlico River. We'll be moving over uh, the Pamlico River soon. It will be very close to River Road and uh, moving to the northeast at 65 miles per hour as we continue to track these uh, dangerous, severe thunderstorms across Onslow, Jones, Craven, Beaufort, Washington, as well as Tyrrell counties in this uh, now moving into the 10 o'clock hour on this Monday morning. Um, again, you can see how the tight rotation is now moving across this portion of southern Beaufort County. I will move the uh, cursor or to move the um, the computer to allow our storm lab radar to see uh, the tightest rotation right now is near Blunt's Creek right in through here taking the lightning off once again, uh, moving very close to core point, will be moving across the Pamlico River. The tightest rotation will be near Odin Mill over toward Yatesville, 
uh, to the east of River Road and along River Road very, very soon as this uh, storm is moving across the Pamlico River. If you're watching us from Bath, I highly uh, urge you to get into your safe area. The storm will be just to your west as it moves across northern Beaufort County. Uh, the heaviest rain currently right now moving across this portion along Highway 92. If you are watching us in this region of the nine on your side viewing area near the White Post community currently, this is where along Hawkins Landing, where the tightest rotation is moving across this portion of eastern North Carolina, and our storm lab radar doing a fantastic job of tracking these storms this morning. As we again put what's called the storm relative velocity on here, tornado warning in effect for Beaufort County until 10:45. This heaviest rotation now pushing across uh, this portion of the nine on your side viewing area, and this will continue to move its way toward the northeast as we track the uh, latest information from the National Weather Service, our partnership with them, as we are following this storm with you this morning on WNCT nine on your side from the First Alert Weather Center. Uh, my sincere thanks to uh, my colleagues, Chief Meteorologist Jerry Jackson. Uh, Chief uh, Meteorologist Alex Wasilenko. We're working in our individual locations, but uh, through our technology, we have the ability to actually be working as one team uh, from our respective locations. We're with you on air, online, uh, on our social media, and that's why we are with you right now as these uh, tornadic thunderstorms are moving through eastern North Carolina in motion. I'll put this in motion again to show how quickly the line of storms is moving toward the east, and we will zoom once again back down as I check the very latest communication with our, um, our colleagues and our partners over at the National Weather Service in Newport. Now the storm is moving through um, this portion of Onslow County into southeastern Jones County and southern portions of Craven County this morning. Uh, we are tracking this storm now moving to the northeast and will continue to be with you as long as we have these tornado warnings in effect as we are tracking them with you this morning. Of course, uh, this is not a day to be considering to get out and about for many reasons, and here is yet another one. As I mentioned a moment ago, our area of danger now uh, is moving uh, for basically the, the eastern portions of our viewing area. So if you're watching us anywhere along um, Highway 17, that would be from Onslow County up through Jones County, up through Craven County, extending northward still through western Beaufort County, east of there uh, into there. Let's take a tour once again with our storm lab radar as we push along this morning. Uh, southern Craven County, uh, yes, the Newburn area definitely right now experiencing the heavy storm action. We can even go to our Live I-9 camera in Newburn to see uh, if we can note anything going on in this portion of eastern North Carolina. I want to put the Newburn line Live I-9 camera to see if we can access that now uh, from our vantage point from the Bridgepoint Hotel and Marina. And uh, what we're seeing right now is just a just an onslaught and downpour of rain. Um, I can uh, put this actually to try to turn it perhaps to see if we can see any better uh, view from this portion of eastern North Carolina in Craven County near the Newburn area. Want to now see if we can turn the camera. We are seeing just again the onslaught of very, very heavy rain now uh, from this portion of the Newburn area this morning. I want to now uh, put the camera and try to turn it just a little bit. Uh, this is the peak of the storm right now. I hope you're in your safe area, Newburn, uh, in your safe area for now as I'm trying to see if we can find another vantage point with our live I-9 camera as we are looking across eastern North Carolina communities and we're tracking this very, very dangerous storm as it's moving through the Craven County communities. And as you can see right now, the rain is falling just so heavily that it is just almost impossible to see even through uh, this, this portion of eastern North Carolina. So a tornado warning, it is very, uh, very dangerous. The situation very, very dangerous right now. And we are wanting all in the Newburn area to make sure you're in your safe area right now. Uh, again, just very difficult to even see with our Live I-9 camera. So we'll go back to the first alert radar uh, as we are tracking these storms now through Craven County 
as a, again a tornado warning in effect uh, right over the New Bern area as we speak as we are tracking this uh, very strong we'll call it the severe thunderstorm now moving through the New Bern area with the potential for more rotation and uh, from the eastern portions of Jones County southern portions of Craven County from Havelock up to New Bern let's make sure you're in your safe area anywhere along Highway 70 want to point that out to you right now if you are watching us anywhere along the Highway 70 corridor from Havelock up to New Bern making sure you're in your safe area hopefully you're already there stay in your uh, safe area for another 15 to 20 minutes if you're watching us from Fairfield Harbor, uh, rotation such that we do have this tornado warning in effect for Craven County and moving north and east uh, through Craven County this morning. We do have uh, this tornado warning in effect. So yes, uh, for those that are checking in on social media, we want to confirm this is a dangerous storm in Craven County. We do want you in your safe area right away uh, or staying in your safe area. I uh, hope that you are already there. If you're watching us from Reelsboro, even on into portions of Pamlico County this morning, uh, this this storm will be moving through western reaches of Pamlico County in the next few minutes from Fairfield Harbor in the New Bern and Craven County communities on to the north along Highway 55. So along Highway 70, along Highway 55, over uh, toward uh, the eastern portions of the Bridgeton area. Want to make sure you're in your safe area right now and making sure you stay there. Lowest area of your home away from windows. So from the James City area over toward Bridgeton, we want to continue to stay with you as this is a dangerous situation for eastern North Carolina communities, mainly east of Highway 17 as we track these severe thunderstorms with you on this Monday morning. Essentially on and east of U.S. Highway 17 is our danger zone with these storms now. Tornado warning in effect for Craven, uh, the southern portions of southeastern portions of Jones County, Craven County, moving on into northern portions of Pamlico County, and then into southern portions of Beaufort County, this first storm. We also have the storm moving through Beaufort County over into um, from the uh, Blunts Creek area moving now across the Pamlico River. This is where we're watching this severe thunderstorm moving very close and moving across the Bath community, Yatesville community. It is moving to the northeast at about 65 to 70 miles per hour. Bell Haven, I'll go ahead and make sure that you're on the high alert getting into your safe area. If you live right here along the Pungo River, let's get into our safe area right now. Anywhere along Highway 264, uh, Yatesville seems to be the bullseye right now where this uh, Titus rotation is located with this particular storm cell uh, moving toward the northeast as we are tracking this storm with you on this Monday across Beaufort County. We will spread the picture out once again and staying with all of our viewers in eastern North Carolina who are in line with these dangerous thunderstorms. Zoom back in again to northern, northeastern portions of Washington County, northern in Tyrrell County, watching us from the Columbia, uh, the, the, the town of Columbia over towards Skinnersville. This storm is now preparing to move in over the Albemarle Sound. So if you're watching us again anywhere along the Highway 64 corridor from Cress, Cresswell to Columbia, stay in your safe area a little while longer uh, as this storm system moves through this portion of eastern North Carolina and will be moving over the Albemarle Sound very, very soon. We have the tornado warning in effect here. Here for another 15 minutes for northeastern Washington County, northern Tyrrell County before it moves into the or over the Albemarle Sound this morning. So as a result, we are on the air with you. We continue to move through uh, with you on this Monday in this severe weather mode this morning as we have seen verification and realization of what we have been alerting you to for the last several days of this powerful spring storm system moving through eastern North Carolina this morning with our storm lab radar. We are tracking these storms along with you, along with my colleagues, Chief Meteorologist Jerry Jackson and my colleague, Meteorologist Alex Wasilenko. We are with you on air, online, and with our 
our radio partners also uh, covering all bases with on air, online uh, information this morning. I uh, want to give you another update. Again, the National Weather Service uh, pointing out that as I showed you a moment ago on our Storm Lab radar, the severe thunderstorm with rotation near Newvern, uh, located near Fairfield Harbor, James City. It's moving to the northeast at 55 miles per hour. Uh, it's always very, very uh, affirming to get this type of verification with our uh, our partners and uh, colleagues at the National Weather Service in Newport, uh, confirming for us what we are passing along to you with our Storm Lab radar analysis. This uh, severe storm now, the tightest rotation, does indeed confirm this storm now with rotation is over Fairfield Harbor. Do you remember a moment ago, as I showed you the showed you the uh, live I nine camera, you couldn't even see beyond you know, the building because of the rain coming down so torrential. Uh, in the Newburn area. This is a dangerous storm currently over the Fairfield Harbor area just to uh, the southeast of James City, moving to the northeast at 55 miles per hour. So this is where we are. Thurman, if you're in the community of Thurman, over to Grantham's, uh, this is where the storm is currently. Stay in your safe place. Do not get up or venture anywhere, but stay in your safe area away from windows nearest uh, of the, the center of your home away from windows and make sure you keep your head covered and if possible a blanket to try to keep yourself covered in the event that flying debris uh, were to become a part of uh, your pathway. We certainly want you to do everything you can to protect your head and of course protect every part of your body as you are capable with this storm now in the Newburn area capable of producing a tornado as it is moving to the northeast at 55 miles per hour. Zooming in once again on the storm uh, near Havelock, uh, we do have some uh, tighter rotation here. Um, we're continuing to track this one also as it's moving to the northeast. This tornado warning now just issued just north of Havelock. This is going to move into Pamlico County. So if you are watching us anywhere along the Noose River, I want you to please be in your safe area now. Just to the north of Havelock, as you hopefully have already been there, Arapaho putting you on alert. The storm is moving into your area very, very soon. Heavy rain is already moving into Pamlico County. Oriental putting you on alert. The storm will be moving into your area very, very soon. Tornado warning in effect now for southern Craven County and central and eastern Pamlico County until 11 a.m. this morning as we track this severe weather moving across eastern North Carolina communities on this Monday. So we will continue to keep you up to date here from the First Alert Weather Center. And um, so with that being the case, I'm tracking and looking at the very, very latest from the National Weather Service. Let me pause just for a moment, and I'll put this into motion for you as I read the very latest from the National Weather Service as we have, again, our partners at the National Weather Service in Newport. I'm going to put this into motion for just a moment. Continue to watch as we put this storm line into motion as we track this storms. Let me read the very latest for just a moment. I want to pause as you just look at the radar for just a moment. And then once I uh, digest and look at the very latest information, I will let you know what, uh, what we have going on here. Again, you're watching live coverage on WNCT 9 on your side. We are tracking severe weather now moving through eastern North Carolina. Uh, we're looking at the storms moving to the northeast, so that would include those in line with this storm around Grantsboro, Bayboro, uh, the Lynch Beach area, Vandermeer, Spring Creek. This is where the storm is now, moving to the northeast at 60 miles per hour. This tornado warning in effect until 11 a.m. as it's moving to the northeast. This tornado warning in effect until 11 a.m. the outlined area that I just pointed out across uh, the Havelock area, southern Craven County, moving into Pamlico County. This storm capable and having rotation such that it's moving into Pamlico County, a tornado warning for another 35 minutes for this portion of eastern North Carolina as we track these storms moving to the northeast as a very, very fast pace. And I'm getting a few questions on our social media saying, what about areas like Greenville, Kinston? Good news for areas, say, west of U.S. Highway 17. Uh, the severe weather threat is now diminishing. And 
and going away. So if you're watching us from Snow Hill, from Greenville, now there are still some rumbles of thunder around Aden down toward Grifton, but the severe weather threat for uh, Lenore County, Duplin County, Pitt County, Green County, Martin County very soon, except for the extreme eastern reaches, let's say around Jamesville. I want you to continue to uh, stay in your safe area if you're in extreme eastern Martin County, say just east of Williamston over toward the Jamesville area. The storm system will continue to move on to the northeast. This severe weather threat starting to go down now for our central and western counties. We are focused now on our eastern counties in eastern North Carolina, and we possibly have uh, some continuing coverage now partnering with our news team as we continue to track uh, the very latest. And we are, as a news team, safely doing so, but we are searching and we will continue to uh, find out if we have any confirmed reports of damage. Certainly hoping and praying that. That there have been no injuries. We're hoping that everyone has stayed safe uh, as these dangerous storms have pushed through uh, eastern portions of our viewing area. As we have now, uh, as we are now seeing uh, the heaviest, uh, strongest part of this severe weather now in southern Craven County, affecting the Havelock community. Cherry Point will be moving into uh, southern and central and eastern Pamlico County. A tornado warning in effect until 11 a.m. across this portion of the nine on your side viewing area as these severe thunderstorms roll through southern Craven as well as southern and eastern portions of Pamlico County. Moving toward the north, again, we are tracking this severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado. I'm a little bit concerned now in this portion of western Pamlico County. Some more rotation now possible around the Highway 306, Highway 55. Five corridor as we look toward Grantsboro and Reelsboro. Uh, right now, this is a very, very strong, uh, it is a very uh, dangerous thunderstorm now moving through this portion of Pamlico County. It is moving off to the northeast at 65 miles per hour and will be pushing across uh, areas like Camp Campbell, uh, Campbell Creek uh, over toward the lowland area. As you're looking into southeastern Beaufort County, just to the east of Aurora, if you're watching us along Highway 33, you're Near the Campbell Creek area over toward Lowland as we look again in southeastern Beaufort County and northern portions of Pamlico County. We are tracking this very dangerous thunderstorm now capable of uh, a continued tornado. Tornado warning officially in effect for this portion of eastern Beaufort and uh, northern portions of Pamlico County until 1045, about another 15 minutes as this storm moves on through. But may be extended because of this uh, increasing intensity now across uh, western portions of Pamlico County this morning as the tornado warning in effect for uh, Craven County as well as Pamlico County until 11 a.m. for the southern storm that is affecting areas to the east of Newburn now on into Pamlico County. Another alert coming in to the national or from the National Weather Service. Uh, we're again looking at this storm now moving across Beaufort uh, and Pamlico County. We have a confirmed tornado now over Olympia uh, near James City is now moving to the northeast. As I said just a moment ago, glad we were focusing in on this. Appreciate the National Weather Service confirming for us as we are seeing it. Uh, this uh, storm now a confirmed tornado near Olympia uh, moving to the northeast and this storm is moving to the northeast such that they may extend the tornado warning now. So if you're watching us from the Reelsboro area over toward Grantsboro, Bay City, uh, over to the Prescott community, uh, and now we'll include Aurora in this particular line of this storm as it moves to the northeast. I do want to point out that this severe thunderstorm uh, now has a confirmed tornado as stated by the National Weather Service near Olympia moving to the northeast at 55 miles per hour. So we do want to make sure you are staying alert. Uh, the storm is just to the north and east of Olympia now. It's moving at a fast pace, 55 to 60 miles per hour, and that's why we are again on the air with you as this storm uh, is now an observed tornado, uh, a tornado warning in effect. Now, we do have this confirmed tornado uh, located near Olympia just a few moments ago, moving to the northeast at 50 miles per hour. And this is why we are still going to stay with you here as we observe these storms along with you and keep you ahead 
of these dangerous, severe thunderstorms this morning across the eastern counties of the nine on your side viewing area. Let's now spread the picture out again and put this into motion as we watch the storm system move to the northeast. As you'll again see overall, the severe weather threat now essentially east of U.S. Highway 17. If you're watching us now from Carteret County northward through southern Craven County into Pamlico County, Eastern Beaufort County, both north and south of the Pamlico River, also moving into northwestern mainland Hyde County. Let's make sure we're getting into our safe area now. If you are watching us uh, anywhere in the northwestern reaches of the mainland areas of Hyde County, want to point out that the storms that have produced rotation capable of producing tornadoes. Uh, now I'm putting uh, the areas of northeastern Pamlico, I'm sorry, northeastern Beaufort County. Pantego on alert. Also over toward the Leechville area. We are also tracking this portion of northwestern mainland Hyde County, putting you on alert, making sure you're in a safe area. Um, it's more sparsely populated, but every life precious and very important. Uh, if you are looking from the Winona community and southern portions of Washington County over to the Galilee Mission area right along the Washington and Terrell County line, make sure that you are in your safe area right now as this portion of southern western Terrell County, southern and eastern Washington County. This is a very intense thunderstorm now moving across northwestern mainland Hyde County and will be moving into the portions of of eastern Washington and western Terrell County, as I just outlined a moment ago, as we are tracking these storms moving to the northeast at about 65 miles per hour. My colleague and uh, um, fellow news team members, we are watching the situation right now and we're continuing to track the storms. And, uh, and I do appreciate uh, how Maria Satira and the news team, you're coordinating continued focus. Want to see if you've got any information that you could um, have for us. Do you have additional information that you are going? Cleaning. If uh, you've got some information, Maria, that you could pass along to our viewers this morning. Yeah, we just kind of want to give an informational update as to what you need to do at home in this type of situation. We've been kind of preparing you throughout the morning, but of course, you can't have too many reminders during a time like this. So we have a, a full screen here of some important information of what to do during a tornado warning. As David Sawyer and our first alert weather team has been tracking and reminding you as he's forecasting for these. Warnings, but we want to uh, show it on screen because sometimes it's a little bit easier just just to read some information. So first and foremost, if your area is in this tornado warning, go to a windowless room in your house. Oftentimes, this is the center of your home. This could be a bathroom. Um, you could also go to the lowest part of your home, um, often a basement. And if you are able, get under a sturdy piece of furniture and make sure you're able to use your arms or um, to, to protect, protect your head and neck, of course. Um, for added protection, um, consider maybe covering your body with a blanket or a sleeping bag or a mattress. And of course, a reminder, do not stay in a mobile home if you are in an area that is expecting the tornado warning or you're in an area that it could be approaching soon. So if you're able to safely leave that mobile home and get to a safe place, please do so at, that, at this time as soon as you can. Um, and we also, if you're able to send any photos um, safely, cannot stress that enough, if you're able to send any safely taken photos um, from your home of any damage, right now we have not received any major any major reports of damage. We've been getting um, lots of photos and videos of rain, wind, um, some, some uh, especially we just got a photo from the Jacksonville area. But the best way you can send those photos to us is on our social media pages. So if you go to the Facebook page, WNCT Channel 9, uh, you can upload a photo there. So again, just make sure if you're able to take that, we want to make sure you're doing it from a safe location. Uh, it sounds like uh, meteorologist David Sawyer has some more information for you. I do appreciate that, Maria, and thanks for that very timely and important information of how we can stay safe in this severe weather situation this morning. New update now from the National Weather Service, a storm. Uh, we're tracking this one that is, has been near Havelock, moving to the northeast. It's now currently moving over Minnesota 
Beach. This severe thunderstorm, again, capable of producing a tornado, moving at a fairly fast pace now across this portion of eastern North Carolina. So if you are watching us from the uh, southern reaches of Craven County to the east of Havelock, now this storm is moving across the Noose River and will be moving into Pamlico County. Uh, this is moving toward the northeast and moving at a fairly fast pace now as we can see a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado. This tornado warning for Pamlico County in effect until 11 a.m. as the storm is moving over Minnesota Beach as it's moving to the northeast between 30 and 50 miles per hour. So this is our very latest information as we are tracking it real time with you as our uh, first alert weather team, our news team, our entire nine on your side uh, news team family working together with you as families as well in eastern North Carolina. We are staying with you as long as this severe weather threat and tornado warning activity is in place across eastern North Carolina. So as a result, we are tracking these very strong thunderstorms capable of producing tornadoes. As you will note, we do have this tornado warning in effect for this, uh, say, the northern portion now of Pamlico County, also into southern Beaufort County. This tornado warning in effect for another 10 minutes for areas close and east of Aurora. If you are living along Highway 33, I again, again cannot emphasize enough the importance for you to stay in your safe area while this severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado. There was an observed tornado near Newburn with this very storm just a little while ago. Now it is moving into southeastern portions of Beaufort County and will be moving over north reaches of Pamlico County near Lowland and will be moving over the Pamlico River within the next 15 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes, as this tornado warning for uh, this portion of southeastern Beaufort County, uh, extreme northern Craven County, and also into northern Pamlico County uh, in effect until 1045. Uh, so again, we are getting the very latest from the National Weather Service. We are tracking all of these storms as they move toward the northeast. Very much appreciate uh, our team synergy as these storms continue to push on through eastern North Carolina as our severe weather team putting together the very latest from the National Weather Service. So if you're watching us along Highway 33 from Camel Creek, <clears throat> again, along Highway 33 east of Aurora, this tornado warning in effect until 1045, rotation with this particular storm moving to the northeast, and we are tracking it together on this Monday throughout this severe weather situation in eastern North Carolina. So glad to have you with us on this severe weather day in the nine on your side viewing area. <clears throat> Excuse me, as we continue to track the storms now, we are tracking the overall storm velocity now as it's moving to the northeast. We are seeing some rotation right in through here, and as that is indeed the case, it does indeed further confirm for us that we are tracking a rotating thunderstorm that has the capability ability of producing the severe weather that has indeed had confirmed tornadoes at times with this mass of thunderstorms pushing through eastern North Carolina now impacting areas in the coastal inner banks and the Crystal Coast area. A severe thunderstorm uh, very close to Emerald Isle right now. We don't have any confirmed reports of rotation here. Not an official um, tornado warning, but it's a severe thunderstorm warning for Carteret County uh, in this portion of this severe weather moving through Carteret County right now. So make sure you're in your safe area if you're anywhere along Highway uh, 58 along Bogue Banks as you move from Emerald Isle over toward Atlantic Beach. This is a dangerous storm and we're of course watching it very very carefully for any rotation and this storm will continue to move on through for the next 15 to 20 minutes uh, until 11 a.m. The severe thunderstorm warning for Carteret County and southern portions of Craven County with this severe thunderstorm 
warning in effect. We're moving back to the north again. We are tracking this storm now that has moved into the northern portions of Pamlico County, moving into southeastern portions of Beaufort County. I hope that you are in your safe area if you're living along anywhere along Highway 33 east of Aurora uh, in the eastern reaches of Beaufort County and northern portions of Pamlico County over toward Spring Creek, over toward Lowland. We want to make sure you're in your safe area. Also, Pamlico Beach, I'm putting you on alert uh, because of this next storm that's pushing across the Pamlico River very, very soon. Let's get into our safe area as the warning may be extended beyond 1045 with this rotation with the storm moving toward the north, northeast at 55 miles per hour, moving into uh, the, the um, Pungo River area uh, very, very soon. So the, um, the Scranton area over toward uh, Mackleyville and perhaps even Swan Quarter, as we look on into uh, mainland Hyde County, we are tracking the storms that will be pushing across, moving across the Pamlico River very, very soon. A uh, current tornado warning until 1045. This may be extended. We'll see as the National Weather Service will ultimately uh, push that button if necessary as we track the storms with you as well. So we continue to have a dangerous situation mainly east of US 17. If you are watching us across the western and central portions of the nine on your side viewing area, I know you are, you should be breathing a sigh of relief if you're watching us uh, up and down Highway 11 from Kenansville to Kinston to Greenville, uh, even northward toward Bethel and into central and western Martin County, Bertie County, uh, now becoming in the clear, meaning the severe weather threat has ended for central and western portions of the nine on your side viewing area. The focus now is the continued storms uh, residual uh, for the next, say, hour or so before these storms push out over the Atlantic Ocean. And we will uh, thankfully say so long to these storms as they push on out to sea uh, this morning. So this is why we are with you with these tornado warnings uh, that are still in effect across a good portion of the eastern counties of the nine on your side viewing area, sending out the very latest on air, online, our social media platforms in full tilt right now uh, as we as a team, our chief meteorologist Jerry Jackson, our meteorologist Alex Wasilenko and I are serving from our independent locations as we are observing uh, the same practices of safety during the COVID-19 situation, uh, maintaining our distances uh, in respect of one another. But the good news is our technology, we are acting and serving you as one team together. We are bringing this all together for you. And uh, again, I am honored to serve along with uh, Chief Meteorologist Jerry Jackson and uh, colleague Alex Wasilenko as uh, the meteorologist team, the First Alert Weather team. We are tracking these storms and keeping you up to date from the First Alert Weather Center uh, with our technology able to access all of this along with you this morning. We do have the active warnings for another few minutes. Uh, specifically now, uh, the active warnings are in place for the Pamlico County communities uh, over toward Oriental, uh, northward into southeastern Beaufort County, and also into northern portions of Pamlico County. And again, the storm is now currently near Spring Creek and Lowland. It will move across the Pamlico River, and I'm putting those along the northern side of the Pamlico River and the Pungo River, including Pamlico Beach, uh, even uh, just to the east of Bell Haven, even though it is moderately raining in Bell Haven, and the center of the biggest rotation will very likely with this severe thunderstorm stay just to the east of Bell Haven. I encourage Encourage those in the Bellhaven community being a more populated center of this portion of, of uh, eastern North Carolina. Pantego to Bellhaven, let's stay in our safe areas. Even though the biggest rotation looks to move to the east in terms of the tornado potential, the tornado potential more along the Highway uh, 264 corridor from Scranton over toward uh, the, the uh, Swindle Fork area along Highway 45 and Highway 264 near Rose Bay. I'm putting you on alert with that possibility of the storm moving across the Pamlico River as we speak, and it will move into this portion of eastern North Carolina in the next little while as we are tracking these severe thunderstorms now as they push off to the east this morning. We are tracking them together, everyone, that we want to make sure we are keeping you safe here in eastern North Carolina.
Carolina this morning. We are putting this into motion to show how we do have the severe line of thunderstorms. It will not be too much longer, about another hour or so. These storms will push offshore, and we will thankfully say so long to the severe weather threat with this particular spring, spring storm system that did indeed produce what the forecast computer models were predicting. We are showing this powerful line of storms now impacting the inner banks, the Bogue banks, and also preparing to impact portions of our outer banks within the next hour before this entire line moves offshore. We're going to stay with you until. Till 11 o'clock with the current tornado warning continuing to move around and zoom around. And uh, any point, Maria, again, as uh, my colleague from the newsroom, as you're coordinating with our news team and all of our reporters, any point you have anything for me, just, uh, just give me a, a yell and I'll be more than happy to send it over to you as we as a team working also as one, uh, one team together uh, to keep our viewers safe and informed with our situation. So I'm continuing, of course, to focus on the first alert storm lab radar along Along with my colleagues Jerry Jackson and Alex Wasilenko. But from a news team standpoint or from our control room, anything that needs to uh, be announced, I'll be more than uh, certainly uh, working together from a team standpoint. You all just let me know uh, from the newsroom and from the control room if additional helpful and informative uh, from the informational standpoint as we continue to track and, and search for in a safe way for the severe weather and possible damage. And so and I'm getting word that you have a little something perhaps now, Maria, thank you for uh, continuing to coordinate as our news team continues to gather the information with these storms from an informational standpoint as we track them together. Yeah, thank you, David. Um, we're still waiting to get some updates as far as power outages and other damage reports, but we are getting some viewer photos, and we want to show you uh, pictures of damage. This is in Beaufort County. These photos are from Joy Tyson, who sent them to us on Facebook. She says uh, this large branch of a tree, a very large tree, fell on two cars in their driveway. This is on Old Bath Highway in Washington. She says she and her mother are doing okay, and she just ran outside to grab this picture. Um, but they are worried about what other damage and what else could happen in their area. Um, again, a tree falling on two cars off Old Bath Highway, which is in Washington. We are working to learn about some other damage reports across eastern North Carolina. So if you are able to safely take photos of damage or weather conditions in your area, keep in mind you are our eyes and ears all across the east. We can't be everywhere, but at the same time, we want to see what you're seeing. Again, though, if you can safely take these photos, only safely, the easiest way to get them to us is through Facebook. So please